Oh, there's that old wrinkly bag of bones. <laughs> Okay, take two. Uh, we just went through the second aid station. Yeah, little cold and wet. This is a cool long section. It's like just so runnable. Look at how briskly Drew is walking. It's so brisk. All right, we're in the middle of the longest section of the race, but we're moving well. I think we're going to get to the Oasis, maybe right before dark, be able to gear up for the night and get to Indian Creek a little early. So far, so good. Wow. That was a boring yeah. story. What's going on? Oh, yeah. The sun's out. The sun's Ooh. out. This is amazing. It's feeling pretty good. We're running a lot. I think that's okay. We're ahead of schedule, which is good. Good day one. Today was a 17 hour day and it was a lot of running because it was very runnable. The weather was great. That also means while we're getting in here at a better time, our legs are really tired. Got some extra blisters, we're pretty hungry. But I think that translates into nice sleep for the eve. Get a little toasty Cinnabon action in your sleeping bag. And um, try and get 90 minutes. And then try and be in and out of the aid station entirely in three hours. And then uh, get up, get some coffees and food. And head back out. Looking forward to day two. Day one was tough, but it's good. We've got 71 miles under our belt. Out. Night one, we're hunkered down in a sleep tent. We have the whole thing to ourselves for now, but there are about 11 spots in here. Some more people may be flooding in, but hopefully we'll be asleep by then. We're just uh, getting a little food in, and hopefully we can just pass out for an hour and a half or so. That'd be nice. Anyways, good night. All right. We just left the mile, let's call it Island Creek. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Um, in and out of there in like two and a half hours. Slept about, well, we tried to sleep for 90 minutes, but didn't sleep much at all. But at least we rested. Our legs feel much better. And we're out of there, actually before our pr predicted time of arriving there. <clears throat> so that feels good. And now we're just going along this nice road and warming up. And uh, the next one's about 15 away. All right, the sun has finally risen on day two. 
this. Endless night one. <laughs> really long night one with naps on the side of the trail in the dark and just we're really tired. But got some Joe and I think we feel better, right? Yeah, the weather's nice. Should be a good day to keep pushing the schedule a little bit. Yeah, we're hoping to maybe sneak in another nap sometime in the middle of the day and then get up Shea Mountain, take it from there. Headed out for the 20 mile section all the way up to Shea Mountain. It's, um, is it noon? What time is it? It's about noon. So we're really hoping to get there before dark. <coughs> it gets real cold up there. Um, we are going down for a nap for half an hour, so. 30 minutes from now. Yeah. Whew. Man, we are beat. We need to get some Z's. Oh, I know we haven't been taking a lot of videos, but that's just because we've been slogging through the night at a snail's pace. Um, this section was, well, we still have a little ways to go, but 18 miles, and um, we thought it was going to be a way to make up a lot of time, get going fast, because it's mostly downhill, but it's all loose rock. So... Pretty slow. Blister Siri. Sleepy. Yeah, pretty sleepy. We we uh, ducked back into the woods for a little nap. Um, it's cold, but not too bad. It's actually kind of nice right now. But we just got to get to this aid station so we can eat some real hot food and just gather ourselves. See ya. Oh, so this has been the story of Moab. <laughs> uh, making it through the evening in the dark, zombie walking. Um, hey, we're in the middle of the road. It's too cold to sleep. It's too, cold, the road. too cold to sleep, so we just have to keep Drudge moving. And hallucinate. Um, we desperately... Desperately want to take a nap right now. But, uh, I saw kids on horses. <laughs> they were tumbleweeds. All right, what's going on? What's coming up? Be honest. see some snow. Maybe. We're trying to get there before dark, but I think it's going to be too slow to get there, so we'll deal with that. Plus, we want to take a nap. Yeah, probably. And then we're just up on the mountain for a while to the next sleep station. So, so we'll see what we can do.
still walking towards the hostels. I think they're getting closer. Doug's in a tough spot. Aha! Doug, you want to talk about your tough spot? Oh, not good, not good. Whoops, I'm a terrible cameraman. He just had a lot of long, straight dirt roads for like miles and miles at a time. I'm not just making a little gas in the Oh, stepped on a duck. supposed to have this out reroute because of potential snow tomorrow and it's a 23 mile section of this it is crazy we're going like a mile an hour and just sliding and tripping it's just rocks loose rock and trees this is crazy I can't believe how long this is taking. Ow. Oh. Ow. We're climbing up this road to try to get to the aid station, and it's uh, beyond exhaustion, I would say. So we're just sitting for a second, and look at that. I wonder if you can see these stars. Nope. It is spectacular out here. But we're so fried. So we're just gonna <clears throat> hang out for a minute. And I'll keep up. But I don't know. We're headed out of Horse Creek Aid Station. Last day. Day 10. Yeah, day 12. Um, nice and sunny today. And <clears throat> we're just going to try to be smart. And we slept 30 minutes last night. Uh, we'll nap when we need to and stuff. We're just going to get it done, get it done safe. And get, to the, get to the hotel. Shower. Rim Aid Station, the last aid station of the Bob 240. Um, now it's just a nice, you know, short 18 miles to the finish. But we're going, we're descending in altitude. It's getting warmer. And from what everyone says, this is one of, if not the prettiest sections on the whole course. So we're gonna. Take it easy and enjoy it. Anything you want to say, Drew? Never mind. finished thanks for all the support and everything yeah we could definitely feel all you guys cheering us on love you love you